Sometimes, it doesn't matter where you're running to. It's just the running that matters. We were putting distance between us and the Holy Nation. I'll be honest, running felt good. For so much of my life, I had a chain between my legs. One that I'd break out of from time to time. I got pretty good at that. Good enough that I'm here now. But I wouldn't be here if not for Park. So I felt like I had a responsibility. Hobbs was nuts, to say the least. He was entertaining, but he was a little knowledgeable. There was a part of me that didn't feel quite right about giving all of our hard-earned cats over to the shinobi thieves. All for what? A chance at some kind of club? I don't know. It didn't seem right. But still, that's where we're running to. Where I'm running to. That is, unless fate intervenes. I'm coming to learn that quite often, it does. You just gotta know when to read the right signs. Sometimes it's just a change in the wind. That can be all you have to go off. You need to catch it. Run with it. It's my new way of life. So far, it's keeping me living. Kia ora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Kenshi, where Send and his companions were beginning the long run back to the hub. However, and there is a big however in that, whilst running, Sand has actually spotted something out the corner of his eye, an odd formation that seems to stick out, and we've been able to see a few things sticking above there as he's been running past. It's not just any place, it is a place called Squin. Another township of some kind. And I'm of the mindset that it would be beneficial for us to check that place out before going to the hub. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take Park and Hobbs as well. Park who is carrying dog meat at this stage. And we're going to go and have a run to Squin instead to see what we can find. Now Sand is going to have to start heading off in a slightly different direction. And before we go any further today, there have been a few questions about what mods I'm running with this series. So the active mods that I have are more names, Free the Hair, Faces Plus, and Dark UI. So really just cosmetic things, nothing that really changes or, you know, messes with the gameplay at all. So the gameplay is essentially what you'd get right out of the box, and it's just a few cosmetic changes. Um, Free the Hair essentially just allows hair to be underneath hats where it usually wouldn't. So yeah, just purely cosmetic. Now, this place could be interesting, especially if it uh, turns out to be friendly. We are still within the Sheik Kingdom, so we can hope as much. Yes, and Sand is quite a ways ahead of the others, originally intending to go to the hub. I imagine one of the main reasons why he would have turned down here is that he knows his friends and know that they would be, you know, likely to want to check this place out along the way, so it's a good chance for them to meet up once again, because, well, I guess in the world of Kenshi, just like anywhere else, you know, there's no long distance communication. You just send messengers, you send runners. And um, I think just before we get a little bit closer, we'll just go and check in on Park and see exactly how he is doing. Uh, Hobbs should be nearby him. It looks like he's... Oh, yeah. yeah. Hobbs is a ways ahead, so Park is running a little slower at this stage. He's going to be a little hungry too, but he's going to be fine. They're just running through the Sten Desert at this stage. Uh, if we do see them flashing at all, it means that they are under attack, and we're going to want to go ahead and give them a little bit of a visit. But so far, everything seems to be okay, and that's perfectly fine with me as we start to approach some rather large looking walls and a really quite defendable valley that they're settled in, in between. And we're just looking for movement out and around here. Uh, when we are doing our traveling, I am going to be, you know, I'm not going to be using the kind of three times speed as much just because it can be a little dangerous. And we are seeing Sheik Warriors on the outside, so that's got to be a welcome a welcome, a welcome sight for sand. Yeah, there were a lot of S's in there. Um, and they don't seem to... Oh, here we go. Stop. Smuggling checks. 
Open your bags, flat skin. And we will just show our gear. Just like that, we're allowed inside. So, San, welcome to Squin. We're in Squin? Yes, Squin. Welcome to Squin. And it's not going to be long until Hobbs is here as well. So immediately looking right off the bat, we have a police watchtower here. Uh, we have a lot of different um, retailers here. So we've got an armor shop. We've got an inn just to the side here. Uh, weapons shop over this side. We've got another bar down there. We've got a marketplace. And I think we might have a place that's for sale down here. And that's kind of intriguing. And then we have our little um, travel gear exploration shop. Now, you can buy buildings in Kenshi. And it's a great way to get started, especially buying something that's within a city like this because you're getting the added protection of living within a city, which is pretty great. But we can see that this here, this longhouse, which is actually a pretty big building, is going to cost us 19, uh, 1,900 cats, which we aren't actually that far away from. That's potentially achievable. Now, we were originally going to be using these 10,000 cats to go join the Shinobi Thieves, but I don't know. Maybe we could try and go for a more honest existence. Well, honest to a degree. We are still going to have to live the life of a thief, as it's what Sand knows. But maybe, just maybe he doesn't want to join with a group like that. Rather, try and make it on his own. Uh, now, this place is for sale. <laughs> for 7,000. Um, I don't think we can remove the rubble, so <laughs> I don't foresee this being a very useful building. Um, you'd literally just have this space here to work with, which is next to nothing. Yeah, not a lot of space at all. So there are two buildings here. We have this one and this one here. They're both private. Um, this one has slightly higher level security locks on it, and I don't know why. Um, hmm, it's intriguing. Well, let's go ahead and have a look inside of sand just to see... You know, if we are to do something like that, exactly what we might be finding. Who knows? Because the life of a scavenger can only, you know, it can only be a thing for so long. Let's just um, have a sit down, have a little bit of a look around, see what we've got inside here. Um, I mean, there's food. I mean, there's no one here right now, right? I mean, we don't want to directly be stealing from the Sheik. At the same time, it would be nice to have some more food for our friends. We want to live an honest life. But maybe we can't start that life just yet. Just hearing some armor clinks. <laughs> Let's go maybe try and grab some of the raw meat. I think... See, there we go. We'll wait for committing a crime to go away. So that's how we've been spotted in the past. We need to always make sure that we wait for that to go down before we try and move or do anything else. We've got some cactus rum there. I mean, that fetch a fair amount. None of these things we're going to be able to sell here, though. So that's why I think going for food is going to be better for us. We can see that our stealth is absolutely horrible at the moment as well. Just with all the things that we're carrying. So we're just going to wait, we're just going to wait. And I'm okay with that, the, the food that we've stolen. We're just going to go ahead and put that in here. And uh, let's go stop sneaking. Yeah, it's going to say, you should leave. And we say, yeah, you know, we were just checking the place out. We were just seeing what we might be purchasing. Um, which, you know, that's fine. <laughs> and hey, Hobbs, buddy, you made it. Good to see you. Well, it's good that he's here at the very least, and god damn, Sand is so tall. <laughs> he is a freaking monster of a man next to Hobbs. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely say that. So, with the money that we have, we could potentially go out and we could buy some equipment. Um, the equipment here is going to be very, very expensive. Another option that we do have, an option that is on the table for us, is to try and gain some resources from around here. Now, we do have a small copper node over here that can only have one worker, which isn't, you know, it isn't the best thing in the world. But while we're waiting for, you know, Park to arrive and to come up with some kind of plan together, maybe we will send uh, sand out there to start harvesting that. We do also have some iron here as well, but um, traditionally copper is going to fetch a little bit more than iron will. Uh, I guess the good thing about this iron node over here, though, is that you can actually have three workers smacking away 
at it at the same time. And just like that, hey, we've got Park and Dog Meat rocking up. And who do we have here? Dust Bandits. Okay. Well, they seem to be just minding their own business right now. As long as they keep doing that, that's fine. But yeah, we're going to have Sand working a little bit out here. And you can see he's not the fastest worker in the world. <laughs> Which is surprising. Well, I mean, he's got 19. He's got 19. So he's done He's done a fair bit of work at Rebirth. Um, I'm not sure where Park falls on that spectrum. Uh, poor Dogmeat is actually up and about at this stage. So we could go and drop her down. And yes, it is It is a her. I realize that now. Um, yeah. So what shall we do? Well, I think we are going to get Park and Sand to help out with that. And Dogmeat... We could actually keep holding on to Dogmeat. It's a way for um, Park to increase his strength running around carrying this other, you know, being on his shoulders. His, his athletics is 47, which is actually pretty good. We're going to send him... No, we can't. It's only a one-person node. So, yes, what we're going to have to do if we're going to try and get some resources that way is have a look around, see what else we can find. There is some more copper on this side here. We can have two workers. It's not that much further away, which is which is good. Um, another thing that we can do, um, let's have a look into here and just see if anyone has any kind of skills in science. It looks like um, sand is really the only one. So what we can do with sand is if we go to prospect, we can actually prospect the area. And so that's him having a little bit of a search around. What we want to try and do is look for copper. We can see that obviously there's a copper node right here. Um, he's not seeing very far. His, prospect, his prospecting skill is only one because the science is one. Once that gets higher, it increases the range that you can prospect on. Um, so we'll be able to see a much, much wider range of the uh, area all around here to see if we can spy out some good spots and you know what there might be some more so let's just have a look around the outside here see if there's anything in particular that is showing up and sometimes you can get lucky and actually find nodes inside of the cities and Squin is a little difficult to navigate just because it is in this little you know canyon here but I don't I don't think there is any tucked away in here at least <laughs> as far as I can see right now but yeah so park my dude let's get you to let's get you to grab some food from sand before we go any further and um hobbs hobbs we won't worry about you doing that just because um yeah the others will be able to help you out there so let's send you around this side at this stage send him out to that and it's for you two eight dried fish there you go. Okay, so if I right-click on you and we go trade, let's see. Much easier. Much, much easier. Okay, one, two, three, four. That should be enough for a little while. Yeah, we'll let you do your thing. Send. You go here. And Park, how about you go and join Hobbs? It is a little bit further away, so it will be good having uh, Park there just in case anything goes wrong. He'll be able to help out with that. Now, Hobbs, you still seem to be a little slow. And I'm thinking that's probably just your athletics. 34. Not terrible, but he's not the fastest man in the world. Park is pretty damn fast. Also considering that he's got dog meat on his shoulders. He's doing pretty good. 49 athletics. Sounds pretty good as well. And so he's just going to be taken away here. And what you'll see is this kind of bar here slowly go up over time. And a lot of Kenshi early on can be this. Now we don't need a ridiculous amount of cats. We just need we just need some. And so like that, you can see we have our very first piece of copper. And the cell value we're looking at here is 137. So it's pretty good. It's a valuable metal used in high-tech machinery. And so I'm sure the Sheik will be able to use that as a, you know, a pretty decent resource. Looking over towards this node here, with two of them working it at the same time, they're going to be getting this copper a lot faster. I don't know where their skills are at. Oh, what do we have here? Um, oh, it's a herd of Garu. So the Garu, um, they are a species that are often domesticated and turned into pack animals. Um, <laughs> it's just going... Groo! <laughs> And Hobbs is saying, uh, stop, nobody move. Um, so they leave you alone if you just stand still for a while. And so let's let's do that. Let's stand still for a while. Yeah, generally they are not hostile creatures because they're herbivores, but if they feel threatened, um, 
because they've got young with them, they will attack you. Um, and they can do damage. I mean, looking at the strength here, we're, you know, pretty decent. And you know, the head and stomach and stuff like that, they take about, you know, twice the amount of beating that a normal human does, so they take a fair bit, but at the same time, they have, you know, an, an okay amount of meat on them, so it's, you know, maybe worth considering attacking one or two. Um, another thing that we can potentially do, and you know what, I am definitely tempted to do this, we have these guys here, the Shet Guards, they will protect people that do trade and, and you know, sell things here, which is us. And so if we were to perhaps provoke these creatures into attacking us, the Sheik would also then help us. And that's a pretty damn good source of food. You know what? I think that's what we're going to do in this instance. So we're going to send Park and Hobbs back over this direction here, along with Sand. Getting ready for this, we are going to make sure that we drop everything down. We've got some more dust bandits. Yeah, there's a lot of them around here. They don't seem to be as aggressive, which I guess is a good thing. Now for Sand, we are going to get him to drop his backpack and park the same deal with him. Hobbs, you too. Just to give them all a proper chance. Um, as for dog meat, we'll go ahead and put him down. Dog meat, I just want you to stay a little bit further away at this stage. Sand... Let's see, whereabouts are they? They are still within view. Let's go ahead and attack unprovoked. And we'll see if we can get their attention. So Sand is on his way out towards them. Running towards them. And he's probably going to start acting aggressively towards them. And see if he can get their attention, you know? It also should be noted, I can't see what their athletics is. So I don't know how fast they're going to be. Um... Okay, here we go. We've got some attention. We've got some attention. And they're off. And they're pretty fast. They're pretty fast. <laughs> He's going to catch Sand, I think. Sand, run, buddy. Run, run, run. Now, luckily, Sand is fast. As you can see, he's making his way back. And we'll see if we can get everyone up towards here. And there we go. The Shek see the go charging towards them. And they respond with force. And we will do the same. We're going to go ahead with the three here. We are going to go attack all. Sand turns around to greet it and just gets absolutely whacked to start with. Okay, okay, we did get an attack in there. Um, probably going to be worth Sand coming back towards the major group here. And wow, the Sheik Warriors just go to work right away. Um, we're taking on the youngest Sand. We're seeing a lot of green, which is good. Hey, dog meat's getting in the fray two Garu down and just like that they're all toast you do what you gotta do in this instance needed to be done um now backpacks let's go ahead and grab them um so scavenger's backpack and scavenger's backpack and Hobbs wooden backpack and that's gonna probably be the reason why we weren't healing ourselves stop whoa whoa, whoa smuggling check okay <laughs> oh okay do you see that though um I just noticed that they called Park an outcast so Park isn't um I guess uh too welcome among some of them uh, ooh, where are you? Ah, here we go. Okay. This is potentially interesting. We've got a... They're all dust bandits here. And wh who are they chasing after? Because that's led... Some of the Sheik warriors to run out to try and engage them. I can't actually see who they might be charging for. I think they're actually just charging for the... Yeah, they are. Um, well, surprisingly... We didn't, Park didn't take any damage at all there, which is great. Um, so we definitely want to come over here real quick like. Uh, the Dust Bandits, I would really like to try and see what's going on with that fight as well. I mean, I was just talking about us not being scavengers. We're, we're totally still scavengers, 100%. Uh, so Hobbs is probably going to be our main um, hauler of goods here. Because with the backpack, we can stack resources. So we're getting a fair few animal hides from this, which is nice. And we're also getting a whole heap of food, which is great. There we go. That's brilliant. Um, now, Hobbs, we can probably get you cooking up some of that food. So let's just get you going camping, campfire. Let's see, where can we put our closest campfire? Just up there on the ridge? I think that's really nice like. So Hobbs, I would very much like you to go ahead and work that campfire. We're going to turn off the others who were doing that because we want them to go and fight. 
Okay. Uh, Park, where are you off to? You're off to Medic, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, let's give these to Hobbs, just because he's close. And Sand... Okay, you don't have any on you? That's great. Okay, so Park and Sand. Dogmeat, just stay here for the time. But actually, you know what, Dogmeat? You can come with us. You can come with us. Alright, so the fight has started. And so we're looking at two Sheik soldiers versus a whole heap of dust bandits. Got to be kind of interesting. We are going to attack them unprovoked because we'd rather be on the side of the Sheik in this instance. So now we can see those green numbers starting to roll up. Um, oh dear. <laughs> Your dust bandits. Uh, so where are our Sheik warriors at? Okay, one of the hundred guardians there. Um, and now this is where, this is kind of why I was wanting to attack them. They've got crossbows. Crossbows are very, very useful and we want to be using them. Now we do have two of them coming towards us. Um, luckily we've got a guardian who's backing us up who should be able to help us out in this instance. As for sand, I'm just going to put him on block for now um, because I want him to be focusing wholly on that. I'm going to give Park a chance to get in there. Good to <laughs> Wow, okay. Well, that worked out, didn't it? Um, oh, okay, we've got more attacks happening over this side now as well. It's kind of happening everywhere. So, let's go ahead and send Hobbs over that side. He is trying to make his way to the campfire at this point. Um, as for you, now they were seen committing a crime. So, theoretically, if we capture them, we should be able to get something back from them. Um, We've just got a, we've got a great chance to get a whole heap of potentially useful resources here. Um, so, Heart Protector is a light piece of armor. Um, it gives us a melee defense bonus, and it doesn't really give us many negatives. So looking at this, this has got okay coverage. The right arm is pretty good, but you can see it's got nothing on the left. Um, this is just our chest, as far as I'm aware. 50%, yeah. Um, it gives us a blunt resistance of 8 and 20 this is one and one, so it's really, it's really not that useful. Whereas the Heart Protector, the Heart Protector actually does give us a good chance to protect our chest. And your torso is one of the things that will down you. So, you know, it is more important to protect your torso than it is to protect your arms. As for the armored skirt, what are we looking at here? The athletics bonus goes down, but it does give you a bonus to your martial arts, which is something where it's actually already giving a, a bonus over here. So that's good. We've got martial arts bonuses across the field here. Sneaky chain. Um, this would affect our athletics, so it would make us a little slower, but really that's not that bad considering the amount of blunt and cut resistance it's going to give us. 60% coverage across the legs. We're going to go ahead with that for now. Now, finally, the head. This is giving us a minus to perception, so if we were to be using a crossbow or something like that, um, wouldn't really help us out. However, we're not using crossbows right now, so I think we could probably get away with using this. We'll go ahead and... Actually, you know what? Let's go Let's go give this to Park for now, because I think Park stands a better chance at, um, you know, being a little bit of a heavier wielder of equipment. Um, boots. Okay, now that does really give us some negatives to our stealth, dodge, athletics, combat speed, etc. But it is also good protection. Samurai boots. We're going to give this to Park because I want Park to be a little bit more heavily armored, be able to tank some more shots for us essentially. As for Hobbs, he is running back towards that other body. Dogmeat, I don't think, knows what he's doing right now. We're just going to send him over towards um, Park to go and bodyguard him. So let's go bodyguard. Okay, uh, what do I want to do with you? We've still got a weapon that we can take here. We have a saber. Um, attack bonus is minus four. But it's pretty decent. Deals more damage than a regular katana at the cost of extra weight. Hmm. I'd like to take it so we can potentially sell it. We're going to have to remember that if we get into any fights here, we are going to have to stop. Um, I would like to get into some fights here. But it looks like they're freaking just cleaning up. Just two, two Sheik warriors just absolutely cleaned up against this whole group. Which is uh, pretty impressive. If we're fast, we might be able to you know, get some prisoners here. So we're getting money. We're just getting it in a different way to how I thought we might. Okay, we've got some more equipment. I wouldn't mind taking it, I'll be honest. We'll take all we can. And yeah, this is going to weigh us down a lot. So we're going to have to be careful um, when moving about. We'll keep these two together for now. 
And we will go check on Hobbs. I think he's almost at the other at this point. Okay, let's see. We've got a whole heap of bodies to work with here, team. Alright, now we are talking. Junk bow. Okay, so it's using toothpicks, which are a relatively common ammunition type for us. This is good. This is really good. Um, let's go ahead and get this thing on. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna grab the spiked club. Armor pen penetration is good. The attack bonus goes down. That's okay. We're gonna go ahead and pick it up for now, and we're gonna go put this weapon on here. So we are actually wielding a crossbow at this stage as sand. Crossbows can be a little dangerous because you can you can shoot your own people, so it's it's a little dangerous. Um, I think this is probably all that we can take at this stage. We're going to have a hard time taking more than this with sand, so we're probably going to end up sending him back at this point. So let's just go to sand, and we'll go to the nearest place for us to be able to sell something, which is probably going to be the bar. Actually, no, it's going to be the explorer's shop. Okay, park. This is this is great. This is essentially a freaking gold mine for us. Um, this is a big win. And you know what, Park, before you go, how about you go ahead and pick up, um, well, actually, let's see, do they have any kind of bounty on them? They don't, so even though they were committing a crime, I don't think it counts. Um, we've got another, we've got another one that's just been downed over this side. Check in with Hobbs. Okay, Hobbs, I think, is trying to run back to the campfire. Even though I imagine it would be faster to go that way. Oh, he can't make it up that way. Poor bugger. It is a long run around. Okay, he's still not feeling 100% as well, so I don't blame him. Okay, we got a spike talent. This is standard grade. Um, we'll go ahead and take this thing. It is got caught stealing. Oh, but you're a dust bandit. Oh, oh, that's a dust bandit boss. Oh, damn. Okay, um, we might actually be able to beat this person. Hobbs, you know what? Stand your ground, buddy. Stand your ground. Um, Oh no, they're, 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 they're still unconscious. <laughs> Who are we kidding here? Okay, we got caught stealing from the dust bandits. That's okay. I'm alright with that. Alright, buddy. Alright, bud. Um, now, you are a dust bandit boss. You, you were committing a crime. But again, I don't think we're going to get anything back from them. They don't have a proper bounty, per se. Um, now, Hobbs, I'm going to let you go ahead and start doing your cooking. Sand is on his way back, that's good. Park, we can do a little bit more scavenging here, see what we can find. Right, we've got ourselves another junk bow, perfect. Great, good news for us. So what I can kind of foresee us doing is maybe having Sand and Hobbs using crossbows and having Park be, you know, our bruiser that's going to go in and create some trouble for us. Um, the boots, I am tempted to hold on to some of them. Um, maybe give them to our two followers. We will see. Checking in with this person here. Same deal. That's great. Really good news for us. If anything, the junk bows are worth something. So, you know, it's a win-win. Uh, are we going to be able to fit all of this? It's going to be asking a lot. Nope. That's all that we can get. Okay, so we're going to have to come back for the others. That's perfectly fine. So, running back to the explorer's shop. Let's get a move on, team. Hobbs is going to run all the way up to there. They aren't following... Oh, they are following sand. Uh, what's going on? Find and put in a cage. You, are you chasing after me? Nope. Okay, that's good. <laughs> you guys were freaking me out for a second then. <laughs> Luckily, we're okay. We're fine. Um, I imagine San did feel like a lurch in his stomach for a second then, seeing the shadows of those Sheik running up beside him, but um, no, we're all good in the end. We're all good. All right. Looking for something? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Um, we're actually looking to sell to you, and um, nice. Whole heap of maps here. Maps can be very, very helpful. Uh, but for now, we're going to go ahead and sell this. And we can see that the fencing chance is pretty good. We're going to get 300 for that. So, I mean, you think about it. You know, all that time we're spending mining copper, we're getting a fair amount more here for not a lot less. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, now, as for the ammunition, I think we just need to keep that in our pockets here. 
Selling more, selling more. Um, do I want to wear one of these? Yeah, we're going to wear one set, just for now. Going to get rid of the rag shirt. We're going to get rid of the horse chopper. Do I want to hold on to one? I think I'm going to hold on to the staff, just because it does give us a plus seven attack bonus. So early on, it gives us a much better chance to hit with. Um, but yeah, if we're going to have that weapon, we need to be able to kind of swap between them. And finally, half pants. Hmm. 1325, 1319, gives us a minus to stealth, this is just a minus to athletics, and it gives us a martial arts bonus. Not that we're using martial arts at the moment, but you know. Um, so all up, that was pretty freaking good. We're already on our way to being able to afford that place. Um, uh, that's a win. That is a big win in my book. Sometimes you just get lucky in Kenshi. Sometimes the right people do the wrong things and it works out perfectly. So let's run back over towards this group here. Now there is a chance that they are gonna wake up or they could go into a recovery coma, which would be preferable if that's the case. Now Hobbs is, ah oh, yeah, see they are actually capturing them. So I wonder whether or not we could earn something from this. As for Hobbs, you actually do have a little bit of space on you, bud. How about we just see, let's get you to grab a crossbow for yourself for now. Got caught stealing, oi. Yeah, they actually did wake back up then. Um, you can try, friend. You can try. This is Hobbs you're talking to. Um, <laughs> whether or not we'll actually be able to do anything here, that remains to be seen. So let's go ahead and chuck everything off. We can see we've got a martial arts of six. Brilliant. Show us what you got, Hobbs. Show us what you got. Um, can I tell you to use martial arts? You are actually using martial arts right now. Oh, that, that was a little bit of a rough hit. Um, care to, care to help us out here at all, buddy? Uh, care to, care to help us out? Here we go. Oh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. A little bit of a low blow, but you know, it works. It works. Okay, so that's, um, that's pretty much everything. Uh, we did actually have a lot of, um, <laughs> I love that. Ain't no way I'm letting some chump bandit undo me. No, not today, Hobbs. Not today. All right, so before you keep running away, let's get you to go ahead and pick up some stuff. Um, go put that in your inventory. And are we gonna be able to fit anything else in here? Well, I'd like to be able to fit the samurai boots in. How are your boots? The plated long boots. Now those I think would actually probably be better on Hobbs. We'll just go ahead and put these samurai boots on you for now, my friend. And are they the blue ones, the standard grade? They are. And we've got a decent armored skirt here as well and a decent spiked helmet. Spiked helmet I would like to give to, to Park. The armored skirt, we can probably go put that on yourself. I don't think the painted one changes anything. We could just leave these here for now. Sand is on his way back, so that's fine. Um, yeah, you gotta be okay with those wounds, right? Yeah, sure you are. He's nearly at the campfire, so we'll let him just start doing his thing. Uh, we'll check in with Park. I think he's nearly there. Um, he is, he's here, which is great. And I think Sand just reached his destination too. Alright, have a chat buddy, have a chat. Let's trade. Okay, so we still got a decent amount of money there, so let's go start trading. That's a junk bow, which I don't know if the junk bow was better than the one we had before. Ooh. Um, oh, well, let's see what we've been selling, because they should be here. Uh, we can actually purchase some toothpicks here as well, which, you know what, I think we're going to want to do. Um, Bolt-wise, yeah, we'll go ahead and purchase them now. Yes, it's going to cost us some money. That's fine. Um, and unfortunately we cannot arrange them. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh God. They, there's 40 of them. There's 40. Oh, well, we're not going to run out of bolts anytime soon. So that, that's a, <laughs> that's a good thing. God damn it. God damn it. Okay. All right. So, um, junk bow. Did, have we sold any bows yet? It doesn't look like we have, surprisingly enough. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and sell the rest of this, um, stuff here go ahead and arrange those junk bow junk bow it looks like they are all junk bows and the other two have bows sorted already and they are also junk bows that's fine so we'll go ahead and sell these ones they're not special um okay well i think that's all that we're going to sell at this stage so we'll just go ahead and arrange that backpack and going into your backpack here easy dog meat easy 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 um yeah we'll leave those as they are for now and we'll go ahead and send them back that's how we do all right, sand is over there. Perfect. Our operation is working as intended. Oh, um, all oh, right, good. <laughs> your, 
you're just doing your thing. That's that's good. You do your thing. We'll do ours. We'll go ahead and pick that up. And I'll pick up the iron club and the raw meat. Okay. Where were you going? Oh, you're trying to go and medic hobs. What a good dude. Um, so this armor skirt is a little bit better. 2439. Yeah, it's a lot better, actually. Standard grade does make a decent little difference there. Indoor bonus. And other than that, the iron club doesn't do much else. The cutting damage here is 0 0.12, 0 0.10. Okay, the blood damage there is a little bit more. Hmm. We don't get the minus two attack bonus. The blood loss is, is a lot higher, so I'm guessing it does, yeah, causes bleeding in addition to crushing damage. You know what, I think we'll keep the spike club on hand. We'll just go ahead, we're going to be selling that one. Put that away for now. And I think we've nearly gone through all the bodies. We will check up at the top as well, just to be certain. But this is, uh, this is a big win for us. And finally, having a look up the top here. Doesn't look like we have any other combatants. They were kind of running over the hill, but we're not seeing any. So I think, I think we've cleared them all out. So, so far, it's been a very, very successful day for us in Kenshi. As, as successful as you could hope it to be. Um, now, let's see if we can grab one of these folks. We're going to go ahead and pick them up. I'm probably going to get um, Sam to do the same. Ah, uh, sorry, Sand. Park, do the same. Do we still have the boss over here? The boss has been brought in. Alright, so we want to try and find the police station, which is all the way down this side, so we'll go ahead and do that. Park is on his way up. Up and out, and Hobbs is nearly there. Nearly there. He's very, very weighed down at this stage. Just get him over towards that fireplace. And there we go, he is standing in it, cooking the food. Um, yes, he is, he's literally standing in it. <laughs> so he's just going to keep on doing it. He's going to keep on cycling through the meat. We just need to make sure that we come back to check on that, to see how that's going. Park, my dude, let's get you, let's get you grabbing. All right, let's see, who do we want to grab here? Um, slave mongers, he he hello, where the hell did you two come from? Well, thankfully, something else that we should note, and something that we'll have a look at right now, is we don't look like slaves anymore. Even Sand doesn't look like a slave anymore. Good news, right? And you know why? His hair's grown back out. And I've only just noticed that now in his picture. He's got, like, this his little weird ponytail back. Um, does he actually have it back here as well? I don't know if that's just a time thing or what. But yeah, yeah, he's got his little ponytail at the back there. So generally, you have all your head shaved when you join rebirth um and so i think that's kind of what happened there oh hello what do we have going on here um looks like a fight between oh the hundred guardian and the slave mongers the slave traders slave traders are a little a little tough um apparently apparently weirdly enough the hundred guardian is committing a crime this character has been caught committing terrorism Okay, interesting. You know what it probably is? It's a little bit of both, but the slave mongers want these bodies, right? And so they have probably seen him grabbing that body and have decided, you know what? I don't want you to grab that. And have decided against it. Park, I think, oh, you're going to go start trying to medic, aren't you? All right, come back down here, see if you can grab a body really quick. And we'll see if we can get these people locked up. Now, we're not locking these people up into slavery. We are taking them to be, you know, handed in effectively. Ah, oh, damn it, Sanders running back, which means he made it there and then is just... Or unless maybe he is still carrying on. We'll just keep our eye on, on Sand as he starts heading in there. At the same time, though, I do want to have a little bit of a an eye on this battle because more, more of the Guardians are going to be heading out here after these slave mongers. And believe me, we do not feel kindly towards these people. Um, we don't want to get on their bad side if we can avoid it. But if we have a look at factions at this stage, I think the slave mongers, the slave traders, you can see that we don't, you know, we don't, we're not either way with them. But we don't agree with them, for sure. So if we can get some kind of benefit, some kind of boon from stealing from them, you know, I think that's perfectly fine. Hobbs, let's check in with you. See how you're doing here, buddy. All right, you've got some meat in the fireplace. We'll go ahead and cycle that out. Now, the good thing is, if we did have our own little home here... Oh, Sand is under attack. 
Uh, what's going on? Why was sand under attack then? Oh, oh shoot. What is this? Oh, that's the dust boss. What are you doing awake? What the hell? Did you break out? Must have. Yeah, we, we, we were being attacked. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll be damned. Oh, it's taking you a while to get back, Park. I mean, he does have a full, in a full inventory of those. Check in with Hobbs, see how he's doing, just sitting on the hillside, eating his, eating his dried meat, doing what he can, cooking all that meat. We've got quite a few things on him to sell as well. Alright Sand, you've made it inside buddy. Let's see, what are we going to do? Who can we talk to here? Uh, we can talk to this person, let's see. Have a chat? Oh, no, maybe not. <laughs> Looks like someone's trying to escape. Um. I wonder if you'll uh, let us use any of your stuff. Yeah, where, where are you going, bud? Oh, you're going over here because uh, they must have picked their locks or something. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Need something, Flatskin? I'm a bounty hunter. Looking for work. Hmm. Then hunt for it. Uh, it's essentially the same deal. Essentially the same deal. Looks like we're not going to be able to actually hand these people over. We can just go ahead and put them on the prisoner pole, which I think is fine. It is helping them out. And you know what? Helping, helping's good. Uh, now before the shops actually close for the night, we will try and see if we can sell some things. We'll end up doing the same thing with Park. We'll just get him to come up in this direction and put these people away. So just head into their park. We'll make sure that we check in with Hobbs. As we do. Sand. Have a chat. Okay, so, as you can see, they have good armor here. They have really good armor. Um, a lot of it's quite expensive. Um, but yeah, I mean, they've got they've got good stuff. The Sheik are warriors. They have a good selection of different types of armor. Now, I guess the only thing is, like, the, the armored hoods, they actually lower your crossbow effectiveness. But they give you, you know, protection for dust storms, acid, burning, etc. They're, they're pretty decent. Um, but the faceplate is an all-around okay item. As you can see, it doesn't really give you any negatives. Um, and this is medium armor as well. And there aren't any negatives associated with it. Um, it's 75% it's coverage of the head, which... I mean, that's freaking awesome. I would very much like to buy this thing. And yes, it is a little expensive, but this is something that could potentially keep us alive. Um, this is giving us a decent amount of coverage as well, surprisingly enough. Rusty Chainmail Tackle Must, and it gives us really good dust storm protection. And that's actually pretty damn decent. We're looking at 14 and, 14 and 2 resistance. Over here, though, we're looking at 21 and 35, which is really, really decent. You know what? We're going to go ahead and purchase one of these armored faceplates. As for this, this does give us a perception bonus. Oh, he's looking pretty cool now. <laughs> um, do we want to hold on to the straw hat? No, we're probably going to sell the straw hat. Um, as for these, we are going to sell them all. There doesn't seem to be any issue with us selling those, so that's great. We'll make back what we can from them. And I'm going to say that that's a win. We're still looking positive, which is perfect. Um, right, do we want to make any changes to our other armor types here? Well, I mean, armor generally is relatively expensive. The Drifter's leather pants are pretty basic. Um, as soon as it jumps up to standard, you, see, you can see the price increases a bit there. But, I mean, really, le the blunt resistance and the cut resistance is pretty good. We're looking at 19 and 7. Although, yeah, that's, that's 24 and 39. It's hard to say no to. Yeah, we're going to hold on to that armored rag skirt. Still still the best in, in my book. Same thing with the heart protector. Some of the other things here, the drifters leather jackets, they are quite nice as well. It does actually give us a crossbow effectiveness up and a melee defense bonus. 14, 19. But we're looking at 8 and 20. Hmm. 14, 19. You know what? It is actually going to be better for us to go for the leather jacket. Um... It's a little bit more expensive. We're looking at 17, but it's pretty good. We won't just jump in straight away. We'll have a look at some of the other options on the table. Um, what, as soon as you start getting towards heavy armor, you need to be really skilled to be able to properly utilize any kind of heavy armor. Um, even the medium armor, you're looking at you know, having your skills drop by a decent amount. It is pretty good coverage across your whole body, 
but still just the 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 negatives that you're getting there aren't great especially starting off i think you want to try and look at having something like this that just gives you positives and gives you good protection at the same time so drifter's leather jacket it is going to cost us and and a, a fair amount we're looking at 17 but i think we can make that back up there we go we'll go ahead and sell this off and we're looking at some much better protection there. We can see our defense has gone up to 30. I'm very, very happy with that. Very, very happy with my dude here. Now, the samurai boots, we do need to remember that that does give us a minus to our martial arts. If we are to try and use martial arts, I, eventually I do want to try and get um, sand a little bit more martial art focused. So we'll have to look at swapping those out for something else. Do they have much in the way of boots here? I guess this is the next thing. Yeah, mostly samurai boots. I'd be surprised if we find anything else. Okay, so for now, that is sand done dusted. And he is looking... He's looking interesting, to say the least. God damn it, he's got massive hands. The guy's a freaking monster. And and he is. Um, <laughs> he's looking even bigger. See, because that's the thing. is like, you know, your, your size scales with your skills in this. And as sand gets stronger, he's getting larger. <laughs> he's growing. God damn, the guy's going to be a freaking... I, 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 yeah, he's going to be something. I don't know what he's going to be. Anyway, we're going to send Park in here next, and then finally Hobbs is going to pop on down to see how, how we're doing. <laughs> we'll just go keep on cooking up the rest of that food for now. Um, Park, we're probably going to have a look at getting him some equipment as well. I was wanting to look at getting us into a building, but, you know, just judging by how things have gone so far, I think we could maybe try and survive by scavenging here and just picking up copper where we can. Uh, I think getting some better equipment on them now uh, is going to make a difference in the long run. As for Sand, um, he is trying to run out to help Hobbs at this point. I'm going to take him off jobs for now, just so that he won't run away and do that. I want these two to stay together just for the time being. Uh, once we're all done and dusted, we'll see how we're looking after that. Okay, so Park, uh, really all we need you to do at this stage is just drop that person off. That'll be nice. So, next level. Uh, yeah. This level? Next level? It's gonna have to be the top. Up again. How about we just go ahead and put them on that? That'll do. Just next to the other one that we brought in. There we go. We're doing some deeds for them. And we'll go and jump into the armor shop. Next kind of logical thing that you might think about is weapons, right? Weapons... Oh, wow. Did this person really just get away? They totally have. It's a dust boss again. This guy, this guy must have a really good lock picking skill. Park, how about you go ahead and put this guy down? Actually, you know what? I don't want to provoke an, an attack from the guards. Sometimes things like that can happen. You need to be a little careful. Uh, but it looks like the dust boss is literally just wandering out of here. They, they, they obviously don't have a good going to bed. Really? Just straight past? Okay, sometimes things like this happen, okay? You know? <laughs> I mean, he's, he's, maybe he paid his way out. Who knows? Maybe he did that. We won't make assumptions. Sand's just chilling there in the corner. We'll get Park sorted out with some good equipment. Let's trade. Okay, so actually, you don't really have much to trade at all, do you? Um, we probably do want to get rid of that. I think keeping him with his combat cleaver is doing him well so far. But um, the dyed robes, I think, can go at this point. We can get them swapped out probably for a drifter's leather jacket. It's just a good, it's a good start. It does give you crossbow effectiveness, which we're not, you know, super in need of, exactly. But, um, I mean, it's it's pretty good. And I don't think we've got to change out those armored skirts for a little while either. So, yeah, I think just changing over towards one of the leather jackets is uh, probably the way to go. Because he doesn't have any protection on his chest at all at this stage. So, yes, it's an investment, but it's an investment that I think is going to pay itself off before long. We're looking at some pretty good stuff there. I think, where are we getting the minus five from? Probably um, total equipment bonuses. Works out to be minus five. Um, so, yeah, we'll be getting that from a number of different things. Also, using this thing inside I don't think is a good idea. Um, it doesn't say that it isn't, but um, I imagine that's probably having some kind of a factor on that. So, yeah, we got him decked out in that as well. Do we want to get you into... <laughs> Dog meat doesn't sound very happy. I wonder if we want to get him into a proper helmet as well. Because right now we're looking pretty good. That is giving him a minus to perception. If we just have a look at perception real quick. 
Um, your perception affects your general accuracy with all ranged weapons, including your ability to hit far away or moving targets. Really, so perception isn't something that I'm super concerned with, realistically. So right now, that's not bad. 12, 25, and I believe that Hobbs does actually have a better one. So I think what we'll do for the time being, we're going to take Park and Sand. We're going to go and plop ourselves down in one of the taverns, start having ourselves a little bit of a drink, a little bit of a good time. Um, we've got two. We've effectively got that one here and this one here that says bar. We'll go to the one that says bar. I feel like that'll be a little bit better for us. Um, where are you guys off to? You collecting more bodies? Slave mo Oh, the slave traders are still down. Mm. Okay. <laughs> We're going out for another run. There is a chance that I might not have needed to purchase any of those things, just based upon what the slave traders may have. Ah, okay. We do need to go back here every now and then, just to check in on our man Hobbs, who is working dil dil he's working diligently to cook up all that meat for us. He's also still got a bit of a headache, so that's why he's just uh, holding his head right now. Uh, but this lot, they're going to head on out of there. We're still pretty damn fast as, as sand. Park. Park's getting there. Dog meat. Oh. Dog meat's still on the mend. Still on the mend. Still just a pup. We'll get there. I actually have no idea how long it takes them to grow. But I'd be intrigued to find out. Oh, it looks like one of the slave mongers has, has gotten back up. Um, I'm half tempted to, as sand, start attacking. We're on block at the, at the moment, but we'll see if we can. Um, oh, are you trying to use your ranged weapons here? What's going on? No, oh, he was just in block, so he wasn't trying to move any closer. That's fine. All right, so let's see, what do we have here? Oh, wow, mercenary plates. But as we can see, this is where it gets a little dangerous. You can see faction uniform slave traders. So this is good to sell, but we don't want to be wearing it ourselves. So, yeah. Everything here is part of the uniform, unfortunately. The only thing that we'd be able to use is really the weapons. Um, it says we're committing a crime. So let's just, um... We'll maybe start sneaking over here. Just to be sure that we're not, um, going to be dobbed in for anything here. And we'll start stealing. Got caught stealing. Who did I get caught stealing by? By this lot? Bounty hunting. Oh, shit. Really? You guys just downed them. You don't want me stealing from them? We haven't been seen yet. We're still we're still stealthed. Let's go run away. It might be yeah, no, they're just going for them. I don't think they're going for sand. Yeah, so really we only got a bounty with the slave muggers then. I shouldn't be freaking out so much. Uh, we do have another slave monger who has just gotten up, so as Park, let's go ahead and start attacking. And see how we do. All right, Sand, let's get you involved. And at this point, we're actually going to get you involved ranged. Um, <laughs> let's see how this works out. God damn. Um, yeah. I'm going to take you off block, buddy. Uh, oh, hang on, hang on. Put you on hold. And you should be on ranged. There we go. That's how we do it. All right, he's reloading. Good hit there. Wow, Sand, it took you a long time to reload there, bud. Okay, I don't think he, I don't think he got a single shot off. Uh, good job, buddy. Good job. I believe in you. I believe in you. Okay. Let's just start taking from them. We don't care if they see us. It's always really loud. Easy does it. Oh, Hobbs, where are you going? I think he was trying to help out in the fight. <laughs> this one song is so much louder than all the others. <laughs> it won't come up as loud in the actual video, but for me, it like blasts out my ears. Like mad. Okay. In the inventory, Hobbs. I think there's just one more lot to be done there. And so most of this episode has actually been a whole heap of looting. <laughs> uh, but, you know, this is how we get cats in Kenshi. This is how we grow. Slowly but surely, getting better and better. Okay, we'll take that with us and we will start to make our way back towards the bar. Because that's really the only place that we're going to be able to sell things at at this time of night. So, 
Where is our closest bar at this stage? We've got a destroyed building. We've got a marketplace, which is closed. That's fine. So, all right, it's going to be this bar here. So we'll go ahead and run to there, park. We will get you to clean up whatever remains of these people. Um, ooh, I, you're a dust bandit. Okay. Um, oh, you actually have prisoner shackles on. Hmm. Okay. And I didn't get a chance to sell that, did I? Bugger. Okay. All right, run back in there, bud. Let's turn you off jobs as well so you stop doing that. Hobbs, you've been out here for such a long time, bud. Yeah, unfortunately, he's going to be here for a little bit longer, just working on that meat. But he's going to get quite good at that. And I realize that statement didn't quite didn't quite work, but, you know, it's okay. Um, I think that's actually everything. Yep, we're looking pretty good. I don't know where um, Park is trying to go. I think he's trying to attack someone. Because he's running off with his weapon drawn. Um, okay, we are looking at more of them. So let's go over and see what we can grab. We, no, we can't actually grab anything as Park. Alright, well we'll start making our way back. Back to the bar. And we'll try and do a transfer with Sand. So that we'll give our bolts to Sand. Because he's going to be the one that's actually going to be using them at, at this stage. Alright, and um, hopefully we'll be able to sell these things off. Um, the bars are a little bit on the quiet side. Looks like we've got a pretty damn decent um, mercenary type here. Sue. And we've got Fusion. How's it going, Fusion? Let's go ahead and chat to the shop owner instead. Just glaring at us. Okay, glare away. Fencing chance, 110%. And so the sale value here, if I mean the amount of weight, it's really not that much. We don't get anywhere near as much for um, the slave manga stuff. But, um, yeah. I mean, it's, it's still, it's something better than nothing. We'll take it. The weapons should still fare a fair amount. So-so. Eh, so-so. We still got some money out of it. I'm happy about that. And we will send him out one more time just to get that last, that last lot up on the hill. Who hopefully are still downed by the time we get up there. Oh, we had some bone dogs go down. They belong to the slave traders. Not surprised. Well, we'll go send them out. Park and dog meat on their way back. Just a good little team doing their thing. Imagine Park and Sand giving each other a little high five as they move past. And, well, I mean, we're back at where we were in terms of our cats at the start of the episode, and we've got some pretty damn decent equipment for Park and Sand. Poor Hobbs, who's been working his ass off all day, unfortunately hasn't gotten anything out of the encounter, but really, with us wanting to, him to stay ranged for now, I don't think he's going to be using much. So, what he's got right now is really the best thing for him, so... We'll try and keep them with that for as long as we can. Um, this is going to be affecting us a fair amount, the rusty chainmail. It's probably worth us taking it off for now. Um, and trying to find something to replace it. I mean, I guess that's the thing, though. If we have a look, our dexterity goes back up. Our dodge chance goes back up. I don't think our defense is changing much. We'll just leave it off for the time being. So we'll go shirtless underneath that sand. That'll be the way to go. And let's just go a little bit faster as we move on up here. And we collect what we can. The clubs being the most uh, valuable thing that we can get at this stage, I think. Because even the samurai boots, we can only sell for 26. I mean, really, it's not worth a lot. It's really only worth us grabbing those two. There ain't much else on them, really. Nope, you've got nothing. Grab you, grab you, and your weapon too. Okay, I think that's a lot there. And then we've just got the bone dogs, which, why not? We'll grab some meat, and we'll maybe get some furs as well. There we go. Last lot out of that. Okay. So, with that, we'll start making our way back. Back into the bar, which is probably where we're going to end up just spending the night. Hobbs, checking in with you, buddy. It's probably time again, isn't it? Indeed it is. Indeed it is. So close, bud. So close. And Sand's got all this other meat now. Ah, oh dear. Alright, so he's going to continue on back. Park, let's get you chatting. Selling some of this goods. We are here to trade. And trade we shall. Get rid of your dyed robes. The heart protector. Yes, we are going to be getting rid of the heart protector. Spiked helmet. All of that. Go ahead and just arrange that again. Okay. Nice. Nice. A little bit better. 
a little bit better. I'm surprised we don't get more side eyes from um, from Park with that kind of bounty that he has. And but look at this, wanted. Bugmaster, the notorious criminal Bugmaster, wanted for banditry, raiding, mass murder, cannibalism, and genocide, all pretty bad things. Extremely dangerous, attacks on sight, appears to have control of an army of spiders. Reasons for this ability are unknown, motivation unknown. Known residence in the crater of Arak, southwest of the Sten Desert and Spider Plains. Reward, 100,000 cats. Update. Intelligence indicates that the Bugmaster is also in possession of a large amount of treasure. Any valuables or artifacts found in the apprehension or assassination of the target is free for you to take. Wow, that sounds real <laughs> tempting. But something that we're going to have to do much further down the track. So Park, how about you just go and have a sit here. Dogmeat, go and keep him company. Make sure he's nice and guarded. Oh, Dogmeat's a little afraid. Just sitting underneath there, making sure that Park's safe bodyguarding him from all the nasty people in here <laughs> and we're just kind of staring across the table at this stage park looking a little bit more protected than he has been in the past and it'll be intriguing to see how the equipment fares in in a fight i'm hoping well i'm hoping well he's getting more and more used to using this um combat cleaver sand you're still on your way back at this point how close are you oh you're nearly there you're nearly there and I don't think we're going to be able to sell or buy anything else this evening. Um, shops usually tend to open up around about... Uh, between about 7 to 9. In that kind of time zone. And finally, let's go sell the rest of this. Now, you've only got a... Just under 2,000 cats left, so... We'll sell what we can. We're not going to sell the rusty chainmail yet. Uh, but we'll go ahead and sell everything else. Selling all these animal parts getting 30 cats for each which is good the okay sell value here is actually really good for animal skins and we've got quite a few animal skins on hobs hell yes hell freaking yes great that's really good news really really good news okay well i'll tell you what we might be able to do here is um with our man sand put that meat up there and then Go to Hobbs and say, hey Hobbs, we've finally come over here to, to heal you, but we're also giving you a whole lot more meat for you to cook up. And we're going to take all those skins that you got and we're going to sell them. Because, you know, that's that's just, that's what friends are for. <laughs> so Sand's going to make his way all the way around here. And who do we have there? Are they more dust bandits? Not really. Yep. More freaking dust bandits. Uh, thankfully, though, I don't think that they are... Um, really at odds with us yet oh they're starting to be they are starting to be so let's just kind of be a little mindful of our friends out here and that an attack could happen at any time but more than likely there will be an attack with the shit guards because they don't like these bandits not one bit finally Hobbs is going to start healing up a little bit more we're just going to take the two of them and do a little bit of a trade um so we'll go ahead and take some of that meat back from you bud Actually, we probably won't be able to take all of that meat if we're going to be taking these from you. <laughs> Actually, we could just fit them in. We'll take those plated long boots. We'll take that for our friend. Um, what else can I fit in here? That's a great question. Uh, we'll leave you with those bolts. That's good. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to do for now. Um, we'll just double check with Hobbs. I mean, that, that is everything in his inventory. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So, Sand, start making your way back. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to sell all of those. Um, we're going to have to wait until the shops open up. So, Hobbs, checking back in with you again. Just keep that meat cooking. And so far, they seem to just be passing on by without any trouble. That's good. Just keep on walking. Hobbs ate some meat, that's fine. Now, see, if they were hungry bandits, they would just attack us pretty much, no matter what, because they want food for any cost. But yeah, it's not a bad little spot, this here. Squin, Squin's turning into something of a home. This is our first day here, and I feel like we've done better here than we've done anywhere else. So, it's perhaps a sign of good things to come. And look at that. We're already sold everything we can to them so is there anything else that we'd want to buy well we're actually doing fine for food at this stage so i don't think we want to buy any food 
So really, yeah, we're just gonna have to wait. We're gonna have to wait until the morning. So Sand, how about you take yourself a seat there? We're gonna wait, sell all our things when day comes, and, well, come up with a plan for the future. But that, guys and gals, shall be in the next. We're on quite a journey together. I wasn't expecting us to end up here today. I was expecting to be in the hub, expecting to be sitting down with the shinobi thieves. But sometimes an unexpected turn in the path is exactly what you need. And so, what is next for our intrepid band of adventurers? Well, as always, getting stronger, getting better, becoming more capable at surviving. And for Sand, it's, well, getting bigger. He's turning into quite the monster of a man. So please do join me in the next episode. I've been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned.